And now to our other big story, the investigation into the tragedy in Virginia Beach. Hillard Heinz, the firm leading that investigation, shared their first update today. Here are three main takeaways. More than 90 people have been interviewed so far. The firm is also looking at 95 emails and more than 50 phone calls dialed into their tip line. One big question remains. Did a hostile workplace play a role in the shooting? Tonight, we got new insight into that. Chenu Her starts us off. It was the independent investigation some family members asked for after their loved ones were gunned down at Building 2 back in May. The investigating firm, Hillard Heinz, gave the first public update Monday. CEO Arnett Heinz says so far they've gone through more than 10 hours of police body cameras, received feedback via phone and emails, and in-person interviews. To date, we've conducted over 90 interviews. Uh, these interviews have been with city employees, other stakeholders, and 47 of these uh, interviews were from your colleagues and your co-workers at Building 2. We currently have another 23 employee interviews that are being scheduled at this moment. Heinz detailed all his team is looking into, including a toxic work environment. We've, uh, we've heard some issues about, um, and, and we value this, this insight when people talk about you know, was there a toxic environment or what was the situation in this building? We're looking at all of those matters into this, and this is what we need the community, we need the employees to come forward with us. We, we can't make opinions about that. We need to hear the facts that relate to that. That same conversation came up at multiple listening sessions that took place over the last six weeks. If you attended those two listening sessions, and if you hear the comments that we're getting from employees who are not speaking to the investigative firm, who don't want to be on camera, they're, they're telling us that there is a toxic work environment. Among those who were there to listen and confront Heinz, Bert Snelling's wife. Her husband was a contractor killed while in the building to get a permit. He's done a lot for this city and then we feel like we're just pushed us out. Heinz's team is looking at more than 300,000 emails and 6,000 documents and continues to look for any motivations the shooter could have had. So Chinu, what's the city's role here, if any, and what's the timeline for the investigation? Well, that is a great question. Right now, the city is completely hands off this independent investigation, so therefore, they won't be commenting on a lot of what is going on right here. And right now, we do know that the timeline for this says that it should wrap up by mid-October.